So we're going to do some sanding first, and we'll put the handle in last, and we'll have to do a little more sanding, but sanding without the handle is going to be just a bit easier. We're going to start with 80. I don't think we need a whole bunch of sanding with this. This is just if you have lots of pencil, maybe some glue globs. This will work a whole lot better. I'm going to sand with the grain. And we're just, just going to be hand sanding. Um, anything that's really visible, the 80 grit will take it off really fast. It's like my pencil marks here, where I was drawn. And you can find better ways to do this. I'm just trying to hold this up where you can see it. We can lay it down and sand like this off the edge. Try not to sand the table. So we can sand that, and then we're just going to work our way down. So that we started with 80, most of you probably can start with 100 grit, sand with 100 grit, get everything nice and smooth, go over the inside, the outside if you want to get rid of these burn marks, you can sand those too, that would be a good job for the 80 grit. And work your way down after you've sanded everything with 100. You can go to 120, and if you want it to be really smooth, we can even do 150. Once we finish sanding, it's time for the handle. We're going to use a quarter inch drill because we're using a quarter inch dowel for our handle. Um, the way we're going to do this, we don't need a a piece of scrap wood under here because it's up in the air. We're just going to be very careful when we drill. We don't want our hand right there, right? So this is kind of awkward uh, for the video camera, but well, I'm, I would normally hold it like this and just go slow because keep in mind the drill does have a tendency to grab things and it's going to try and want to jerk that out of your hands. Okay, so I'm going to try and go angled over here. And we're just going to Gently All right, that's gonna be going through there nice tight fit I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So it kind of cracked through on that side. Now that we've drilled those, we're going to sand those. Be careful, watch out for slivers. We'll sand those um, while I've got you here. Let's also measure and mark this. A couple of different ways we can do this. This should be a little over eight inches, right? Eight inches was the inside. Looks like I'm spot on, plus a quarter, plus a quarter. So we're looking for something that's eight and a half inches. We can also, if we're very careful, we can set this on and we can mark it this way. And we're gonna go cut this with the handsaw. We do not cut this with the miter saw. We do not cut this with the bandsaw. We're going to just handsaw, all right? And then we're going to have to kind of work it through, put a little glue, put a little glue, and we're going to slide it in. So let's go over to the miter box, not the miter saw, and cut this. So we've got our miter box set up. I've got my mark. We're going to use the pull saw again, so I'm going to be pulling it against that fence. I'm cutting on the outside of my line, so right there. And we just want a couple of gentle cuts, just like that. And our piece is cut. We can install it, do some final sanding, and we're just about done.
Okay, before I go too far, I'm going to put just a little dab of glue in there. Just a little bit. A little dab of glue on the outside here. I'm going to spin that in. Towel's always handy to have when you're gluing stuff. All right, so I cut it a little long. It's just barely sticking out on this side and this side, which is fine. So after that glue dries, we're gonna wanna sand those spots again and get that handle flush. And if you have time, we might even put a little finish on it but at this point, we could grade this, we could turn it in. Well, there you have it. We have our little pencil box done. We're ready to go over it and grade it. Uh, things I'm gonna be looking for, obviously you're gonna have to use the rubric. Uh, I want you to measure everything and make sure we have all the right measurements, which we'll provide on the rubric. Uh, length, width, and height. Uh, we're going to be looking at how close our corners here are, uh, how good our arc is, how accurate that is. Um, does the box, does the bottom fit nice and tight all the way around? Handle installed, is it sanded and smooth? Is everything nice and square, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees? Um, just look at the rubric. Follow the instructions on the rubric. You're going to give yourself a grade. When you feel like you've got a grade, we can bring it up. You can show me what you think, and we'll discuss it, and we'll see if I agree. Hope you enjoyed this little project. Hope you find a little use out of it. Thanks for watching.